Good afternoon. Welcome. I'm Carl Roberts. Tag together a group. We are one team. As we move through the mental awareness the YouTube clips, we've already covered the introduction of why we're here and the subjects we're going to cover. We've also covered the mental health continuum model, i.e., or for example, diagnosis from a professional and also the ways we can improve our well-being. Appreciating sometimes it might be good, sometimes it might be bad. What do we mean by that? Low level mental well-being and sometimes high. And again, that will depend on the environment they're in. So what we're going to cover today is mental health stigma. Okay, team, just remember tag it here to support you, signpost you, and again, build our group. When we speak about mental health and the effects it could possibly have, it could potentially affect our day-to-day -day living, i.e. yourself and your family for our behaviours and the frustrations that we have. Also, it could, could make us physically demotivated, hard to get up in the mornings, struggling to get out of bed. For example, what is worth getting out in bed, what is worth getting out of bed for. And again, it can impair uh, our well-being okay to put protecting us being physically fit and alert to what's happening happening around us to alert potentially again with the younger generation or any generation we're in education we're thinking about some uh, stuff or things uh, and we're not dialed in or in tune again we're not in the zone okay we're not learning one of the five steps to well-being learning a new skill could affect us by driving okay and again potentially not being focused on task in hand maybe that'd be getting from point a to point b it can affect our relationship significantly boyfriends girlfriends fathers mothers husbands wives okay we want sustainability we want to be part of that team and working together and again team we need to talk share and listen okay what is stigma stigma it creates a barrier okay and what do i mean by that if we've got that barrier and we've got that stigma, we're not letting anybody in. Potentially condition may get worse. And in some cases, we may not get better. That's back to the continuing model in the previous YouTube clip, i.e. self-diagnosis, if you do think something's wrong with you, high anxiety or depression, or our well-being. If we're not improving that, okay, we're gonna remain with low well-being and we don't want that. Okay, so what are we trying to do to you? pretty good with a pen today or at least I think so I mean badge is in the correct place we're trying to break down barriers a safe space for us all it's okay not to be okay okay talk share and listen we speak about mental health stigma after right hand here we go mental health stigma two types we've got the self stigma how we are viewed the way we think okay and we wonder what people think for example what would be said about me if I did try to seek help or try to talk to somebody, how would I be viewed? Would they look at me as if I wasn't strong enough or they thought I was weak? And potentially, would, would my team, would my family, would my best friend, would they reject me and would I feel humiliated? And that's not a nice feeling. Okay, but as we said, it's okay to be, it's okay not to be okay. You won't be humiliated or rejected. It's good to counter this. Then we've got the social stigma, negative attitudes, how you're perceived again by society, within your environment, maybe your school, maybe your job, how you're viewed. And also the behaviors, potentially from yourself to others or for your, uh, from others to you. Maybe people will think, be crazy nope that is not right nope people might think you're violent nope it's okay not to be okay break down the barriers break down the self stigma and let's break down the social stigma an all-inclusive approach it's part of the the tag formula for success, the all-inclusive approach. We talk, we get better, we improve our process, our performance as a person, we feel good, well-being. What are the effects that it can have? 
on you as an individual. You matter, the individual. I fear to talk. It's not a nice feeling. Potential harassment. Again, not a nice feeling. Victimization. Again, not a nice feeling. Reluctance of support. The support is out there, team. Let's talk, share, and listen. It's out there. And potentially finding employment. That's not the case, team. Okay, we can work around this. Okay, it's an introduction to it where we can move, get moving, get positive. Remember, team, we talk, we share, we listen, and it's a safe space. Again, uh, we had a uh, couple more people last night, again, uh, reaching out, getting tagged in uh, on our Snapchats, asking questions, and we were, we were talking through certain processes or situations on how we can get better. You own it. It's your space. There's professionals out there. There's teammates. There's human beings. They're here to support you. Again, there's no age group on this. Everyone has mental health. It's how we choose to work with that every day as the, men, uh, the mental health continuum model. It's our well-being. Let's keep it up there. Let's keep moving. Let's keep pushing. Okay, two organisations conscious of the younger generation on Snapchat. Really great comments. Keep them coming in. The, the organisation Mind. It's got everything on there. Processes, tips, how we can work around that. Tips for starting a conversation. Great ideas for, for working as a group. And young minds for the younger generation who sometimes potentially feel that they can't reach out, which you can. Okay, please research uh, those those links uh, on the website, real, on, the, uh, on the internet. Really great organisations, really top tips. Let's get this moving. Let's break down the barriers of this stigma. Yeah, I'm crossing out. It's not there. There's no stigma. We're going to break down the barriers. Five ticks. Let's keep moving. Thank you for listening.